Okay, everyone. Um, photographers, just put silent mode on the shutter yeah, speed, please. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we've got head coach Warren Gatland and uh, Matt Captain for the Hurricanes game of Rory Best. Russell, you want to kick us off? Yeah, thank you very so much indeed, Georgie. And um, Warren Gatland and Rory Best are on the us. Gentlemen, good evening. Uh, Warren, we'll start if we can with uh, any injury updates. I'm going to hear the guys from the not some dogs who from yesterday. Yeah, guys are pretty sore from yesterday, but other than that, we're, um, we're not too bad. So I spoke to uh, uh, the doctor this afternoon. He just said that they got, there's a lot of guys who are sore, obviously, there after test match, but they're, they're all pretty good. Good to hear. Um, needless to say, a win for the whole collective this midweek, just to again boost that mood and momentum is vital. Yeah, ab absolutely. And I think the guys are well aware of that and they've been preparing well. And they know that uh, you know we need, need to step up and give a good performance. Um, on uh, Tuesday evening. So obviously against the Chiefs, one or two players have started that game, forced their way into the test team. Um, are you hoping for one or two similar responses from players? Yeah, there's, you know, there's definitely an opportunity and, and I think the players for Tuesday night will realise that there's an opportunity for them to go out and, and impress and you know, we keep saying that the messages from 2013 were that there were you know, significant changes between uh, the first, second and the third test in Australia. So. Um, yeah, there will be opportunities on Tuesday night. Just another one or two of the selections, if I can look at them. Jack Noel playing at full back, on his regular position, but again, I guess uh, another dangerous strike when you can return the ball from deep. Is that part of the Yeah, look, he's he's played there a bit before, and uh, look, he was he was excellent in the last game that he played, and we wanted to give uh, Tommy Seymour a, an opportunity in the start, and then George North gets a chance as well, so uh, which then you know pushes Jared back to the bench. So look, it's just uh, making sure that players you, know, you feel. You want players to have an opportunity to go out there and impress, and, and that's why there's been a switch around there. I'm sure George, having missed out on the place in the first test squad, will be, there's so many other people also who about hell bent on really impressing. Yeah, well, let's hope so. You know, there's a, there's, a, there's a chance for him to go and make an impact. He was disappointed he wasn't involved in the, in the first test, and he, get, he gets a chance to go out there and impress. Jonathan Joseph, correct if I'm wrong, hasn't featured in three games now. Has he had any nickels, or is it just unfortunate the way it's fallen when he's been close to Yeah, it's, it's been a bit like that. Look, he's been definitely in our discussions and debate. He's had, he did have a, a sore wrist that kept him out of training for a few days and that, but look, he gets a big chance on Tuesday night. Just taking a look roughly at the pack, someone like a Courtney Laws, maybe, who's been really impressive when he's had his chances. Bad luck with Knox. This could be a, a big night for someone like that as well, potentially. Yeah, look, he's had a, yeah. He's again. He's been unlucky with injuries and knocks, and I know he gets managed by England in terms of the amount of training that he does. He's he's had a little bit of a hip flexor and has kept down a training the last few days. So again, he's one of the players that gets a chance to go out and and impress. And he has he has done well so far on tour. You know, he has done really well. So you know, let's hope he has a good performance. And in terms of the Highlanders team that was uh, sorry, in terms of the Hurricanes team that was named, um, Julian Surveyor obviously, Julian Barrett, some real quality players that have been released from the All Blacks to make it an even tougher test. Yeah, and that's what you want as well. You know, they get an opportunity to to play against the Lions, and, and for us and, and the players, you know, a quality side to play up against, and obviously, uh, Super Rugby defending champions as well. Uh, and Rory, congratulations on being captain for another time on tour. Um, Thank great you. news. Must be very, very excited and very proud again. Yeah, look, it's um, it's a massive challenge. You know, you, you already um, alluded to some of the players released from the All Blacks to, to bolster what's already a very strong squad. So, look, it's a uh, it's a huge challenge for us. We've been preparing well. We had to train on Saturday um, and then get out to support the boys on Saturday evening. And yeah, look, we're in, uh, we're in particularly we're in, a, we're in a pretty good place at the minute, um, getting ready for this game on Tuesday. And finally, for me, again, as we spoke to one about just then, really supporting the collective and getting momentum <coughs> into Saturday, it's a crucial role for you and your players, isn't it? Yeah, look, I think it's something that we've talked about all tour. Is, is the next game is is the most important one, and for us now, it's we get the chance to pull on the jersey on Tuesday, and and we get the chance to, to put a bit of momentum back. Um, I suppose it's a bit of role reversal from earlier in the tour. So, look, it's it's important for the whole squad that that we get out and produce performance. Um, you know, I think it's uh, it's for morale as much as anything. Rory, do you feel that? Given the result last night, Eden Park is almost extra responsibility on the team. Uh, I think it's just really important that we treat this as what it is—a a very important game for the squad. And like I said earlier, every game 
we've taken each one in isolation building up obviously everyone knew the bigger picture was the first test selection um that's been and gone now so now we have we have a chance to as a squad to to put her hand up for selection on for the second test and, and that's what's important and I think if we start to look beyond and, and think too much about Saturday you take your eye off Tuesday and if you take your eye against off the ball against the defending champions and one of the strongest franchises there is you know it'll, you'll come unstuck and you'll not need to worry about Saturday. And given what happened after the uh, Chiefs game last week you know where some people who played that feature in the, the test squad I mean there's almost an added incentive if you understand. Yeah, look, I don't think it's it's anything that the coaches have, have ever been backward about saying, is that everyone has a chance, and if you play well enough and put your hand up high enough that, that you have a chance of being selected, and, and that's all you can ask for as a player, and, and that's what we got to go out on Tuesday and do, and we got to make sure that, that we produce a really good collective performance, and look, people within that collective will stand out, and, and that's what you want, and that's what having a big squad and having... A really competitive squad is is about. Warren, just in terms of the team selection, again, just on that point, you know the fact that some people who featured against um, the Chiefs last week were involved in, in your test squad. I mean, is your mind still completely open in terms of uh, test selection for for test number two? Yeah, absolutely, and we and we spoke about that uh, as coaches when when selecting the side and and, and players potentially. Um, with a chance to put their hand up for for selection for Saturday, you know there was there's some areas that we need to improve on from from Saturday, and and guys get a chance to go out there and, and show their ways uh, on Tuesday night. How is it? How important is it that as a collective squad that you draw a line in the sand from last night, learn from it, and move on? Because I mean, it's the it's the best of three, but it's too much. Yeah, and look, having looked at the game today and, and gone through it in, in quite a bit of detail, there were lots of things that we did really really well. Um, yeah, the disappointing thing is that we were probably dominated in the collisions in terms of attack and defence and it was as simple as that and we need to improve uh, on that over this week and, and the guys on, on Tuesday night get a chance to go out there and you know be very physical, you know, both defensively and in and, and, and the contact area on attack and that's you know, that's the one area that was disappointing from our point of view. But you know, there were lots of things that we did that were incredibly positive and that we can build on as well. Even where we are on the tour, is this the biggest week of the tour? You know, with a, a midweek game plus a, a match which could be deciding or otherwise test. Uh, yeah, ab- absolutely. There's no hiding away from that fact that this week is you know, really, really important for us. And uh, um, you know, so to get a, a good performance on Tuesday night, a good victory, a good result, and then to build into Saturday is, is going to be um, pretty crucial for us. Okay. Well, I know you're. Uh your wife, kids, and your father arrived last weekend. What sort of incentive is it to have them here for you performing tomorrow night? Um, yeah, my mother's here as well, so that are we get um, we get killed if we don't mention her. Um, look, it's uh, it's just great to have family out here. You know, it is a it is a long way from home, and um, we're a very close family at home. But look, I think for me, it, it doesn't. You know, the incentive for us is performing in a Lions jersey and and doing yourself proud, and no matter where. Your family is. You're always trying to do them proud, whether they're in the stands watching or whether at home watching. And um, you know, we always get that support. And I think, as a group, as a collective, it's something that every player strives for. You know, they want to do people that's important to them very proud. And um, this is no exception. And yeah, look, it's nice to see them, and it's nice to, be able to spend a bit of time with them, having only really been able to speak to them on the phone over the last number of weeks. So, but in terms of um, emotion around the game for me pulling on the Lions jersey is, is enough and, and just trying to do those special people proud. Okay, Warren, what's going to happen with the, the six guys who were in last week? Are they going to stay with the squad longer than planned or No, no. No, they'll be leaving over the next couple of days, yeah. As, as planned. Nick? Warren, um, is Armin Jones OK? Are they right? no, no, he's fine, yeah. Okay. And so with George Cruz and the only one who's sort of backing up, yeah, it was just a, it was a bit. You know, and Jones did that role last week, and so George George is doing it this week. So I mean, in terms of uh, obviously, it's always tough for the guys to, to turn around quickly, but I mean, George played the whole game, doesn't he? He's obviously confident he'd be fine if he comes on. Um, absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's tough. It's tough on players backing up, and we are, you know, a little bit restricted on the tour in terms of the number of times that players can can back up, and also a little bit restricted on the number of games that they can play in total as well. So. Yeah, we've got to keep that in mind too. And just in terms of um, the match yesterday and uh, the way it sort of unfolded, 
um, everything you were talking about in terms of that approaches. This is exactly what you said, wasn't it, from the start, in terms of the things that they were maybe criticising you for, that's exactly what they did to, to win the game. In terms of being direct and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they didn't really play champagne rugby, did they? So. Uh... Um, if we had to play that way and won the game, I'd be interested to see what the reaction was. So, look, you've got to take your hat off to them. They, and I did speak to the players and I said, you know, don't expect them to be expansive because um, as a Kiwi, I understand what the mindset is and often the mindset is to stop the strength of the opposition. And so, you know, to go out there and stop our line speed to, to stop what was perceived to be a bit of a strength, which was our driven line out and to prepare at some stage to have a crack at our scrum and they did all those 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 things and, and were very physical at the breakdown. So, um, you know, it wasn't a surprise in terms of the way that they did come at us and we just got to make sure that, um, you know, we learn from that, we're better at that and, and expect probably a little bit more of the same on Saturday. Were you happy with other games referee issues? Um, look, there's, a, there's a few, always a few, a few things that we've got to do. I mean, the, the one concern for me was that um, there was a couple of times that from Connor Murray, the, um, you know, there was there was a charge down where someone dived at his legs, and I thought it's a, a little bit dangerous. And after he's kicked, he's been pushed a few times and pushed to the ground. So, um, you know, they're not massive issues for us, but just just making sure that he's been looked after and protected and not. And not Sort of harassed after his, you know, box kicked and stuff. So, um, it will probably just, you know, get some clarity from the referee later in the week. And, you know, we we can't complain about the referee in terms of the way he controlled the the match. There's a few things that I want to um, get some clarity over in terms of, uh, you know, the second of the lineouts. Um, just 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 for me to get some understanding about that. But. You know, there are lots of things that we need to concentrate on ourselves and, and fix. And you know, we said all along we weren't here to come in here to to bitch and moan about the, the refereeing. We you know, we needed to make sure that we played um, and looked after things ourselves. And you know, we're in control of of our own things. And just just on Connor, um, he's obviously had a bit of treatment like that previously. Yeah, he is. Yeah. The, the strength of mind for him to keep doing those things, knowing it's coming. And yeah, no, it's a little bit tough. I mean, I. Uh, when you know, when you see someone dive at someone's leg and it's blind, you know it's it's you know you, you feel for the player and it's a, it's a little bit concerning that you know they're actually not trying to charge the the kick down because they know we're near it. They're actually diving and uh, blindly and hitting someone's leg. So look, we just it for me it's just about protecting the players and making sure that they're safe and that's my biggest concern. So um, I'll just be getting just asking politely that the officials you know look at that and make sure they protect them. We're going to do a writer's briefing at the store, um, just in terms of players. So we've got JJ coming in and Courtney. So Courtney's going to do Monday to Tuesday.